righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a late night raw review. Um, it was a decent show, they are a good enough show. You know, lots of people were expecting lots of shit there, like the Bullet Club. People were expecting that. No Bullet Club, maybe on NXT or something, since Finn Balor is still the champ there. Um, some people were expecting Marty Jannetty and shit. They were teasing John Cena for a return, but Cena didn't show up there. Um, it started off with Vince McMahon talking shit about Shane and stuff like this. Shane came out with a big bruise on his face there. You know, saying goodbye to the fans, stuff, stuff like that. And then Vince there, hold on a minute. Um, and then Vince just ended up giving him control of Raw. At least for tonight. But the way it happened, you know, Shane didn't really do anything. It wasn't like, oh, you're you're in charge tonight, and then you see Shane all night long doing big shit. He pretty much didn't do anything there, but apart from a couple of backstage appearances, which makes me believe that he might be in charge again next week. You know what I'm saying? If it was just a one-night-only thing, I think he would have done more, like on camera, stuff like that. So it kind of looks like if Shane is going to be there again next week in charge, not sure there, but good opening segment there, Shane. Shane in charge, at least for tonight there. It didn't really change much, but big possibility he'll be there next week. First match, the New Day defeated the League of Nations. This was an okay match, I guess, there. League of Nations turned their backs against uh, Wade Barrett. They beat up Barrett. And then the Wyatt family came out. And they beat up the League of Nations. So any type of coolness that League of Nations got by beating up Barrett was quickly wiped away. And they got their ass whooped by the Wyatt family. They should just end the League of Nations. Just forget about it. Have Alberto Del Rio fighting in big matches. Stuff like this. Maybe try to push Rusev again. I don't know there, but this isn't good for the wrestlers. It's not good for the fans. League of Nations need to just fuck off there. Second match, Sasha Banks defeated Summer Rae. It was an okay little match there. Nothing special. Third match, we got the debut of Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews defeated Tyler Breeze pretty quickly there. Just like a little match for him to debut. Um, people were saying that he looks like Bobby Lashley. He kind of does, except he's about this tall there. <laughs> well, that, that tall, you know, very athletic, but he's like five foot tall there, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with Apollo Crews, I don't know. Um, then we had Roman Reigns talking shit. I'm not a, a good guy, I'm not a bad guy, I'm the guy. And fuck was he ever getting booed. Booed right out of the fucking building super hard there. He was kind of acting like a heel, you know, but... The crowd just hated his freaking guts there. Then he said that he challenges anybody uh, to come get the belt. Jericho, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn came out. They started brawling with each other there. And then backstage, Shane said that it was going to be a fatal four-way. Um, this was an okay segment, I guess. 
<laughs> Just seeing the new guys wanting to fight Reigns made it good. Reigns just came off looking like a douchebag there. Oh, come on. When he was getting put our come on, guys, or whatever the fuck there. Yeah. Um, fort match Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler ended in a double count out. And then afterwards, Corbin nailed him with the finisher on the outside. I would have just let Corbin beat Ziggler for his big debut on Raw there. Maybe they're going to have some type of feud. I'm not sure there. But if they do have a feud, Corbin is going to win. Fifth match. You know, one of the best moments of the night. Zack Ryder. Lost the IC title to The Miz. Um, I made a vid about this earlier there. Zack Ryder's father was getting involved. Maurice came out and she slapped Miz <laughs> Zack's father in the face. Miz with the finisher from behind on Zack Ryder. You know, woo woo woo, see you later, or whatever. Zack is. Going back to Superstars there, he has a rematch on SmackDown. I'm assuming he's going to lose there. This was pretty funny, you know. Pretty funny match. Match was decent. Hot-ass Maryse is back, and this is going to make Miz look better with Maryse as his manager. Hopefully this, this happens and she's not just gone next week, you know. Then Charlotte was doing, you know, they were doing the presentation of the women's championship. And the crowd pretty much destroyed this segment, <laughs> you know. I felt a bit bad for the women because of the crowd there. But uh, all the women walked out on Charlotte or whatever. And then Natalia was challenging Charlotte, so... No Sasha Banks, we're getting Natalia. I'm thinking maybe Bret Hart could maybe be in Natalia's corner to go up against Flair. You know what I'm saying? In the sixth match, the Dudleys defeated the Usos in the table match. They should have just done this at Mania. Have the, the Dudleys beat them, you know, real quick and just finish it off. This match was okay. They're not, not fucking understanding why the Usos won at, at Mania, but whatever. And then backstage, Kevin Owens beat the shit out of Sami Zayn. Power bomb through the table in the back. Kevin Owens once again <laughs> destroying Sami Zayn's life. Their big kick in the face. Oh, Sami! <laughs> through the table, smash! Um, Sami Zayn got screwed, dog. He's getting the Daniel Bryan treatment there. Getting his ass whooped, which is going to make the fans love him more and more. You know what I'm saying? And then back from the commercial, Enzo and Big Cass have finally made their debut on, on the main show. And these guys are fucking good. Lots of energy. Enzo is fucking awesome on the mic there. You know, these guys are guaranteed to be future tag team champs. It's good, fucking very good for the tag division there. Yeah, I'm happy to see Enzo and Big Cast there. The whole crowd knew their catchphrases by heart and everything. Just beautiful, fucking poific, dog. They were talking shit to the Dudleys and stuff. Um, and in the main event, AJ Styles beat Jericho, Owens, and Cesaro. Cesaro came back, but it wasn't his night there. AJ Styles won, and he's going to fight Roman Reigns for the world title. And I love this match. This should be good. AJ Stutz against Roman Reigns. It's going to be, you know, emotional. 
the muscle marks against the smarks or whatever the fuck there. Some of that good old fucking big guy against small guy action. The war is on again, motherfuckers. And I'm cheering for AJ Styles. Fuck Roman Reigns. Fuck him. Um, we didn't get big surprises. Buff Bagwell didn't come back there, but we got a lot of new talent on the main roster. Um, the the VOD villains are going to debut on SmackDown. Enzo and Big Cass, VOD villains coming to the tag team division there. Maurice is back, Baron Corbin, shit like this, Apollo Crews, that youth movement, dog, that new blood, the new stars that are good fucking wrestlers are showing up on Raw. You know, eventually Nakamura and shit like this, Hideo Itami, hopefully Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, eventually they're going to show up. And wrestling is going to be good again, dog. I can fucking feel it. Um, very good show tonight. Not super good. They're not very good, but it was good, dog. Lots of cool debuts. AJ Styles winning at the end there. Zack Ryder uh, getting screwed. Some good shit tonight on Raw. Good show overall there. Until next time, peace.